to my channel i hope you're all really really well if you followed me for a while you'll know that this is my absolute favorite time of year the weather's getting colder it gives me all the cozy feels so i kind of wanted to walk you through my collection of faux fur slash bulg slash teddy coats they're just really oversized really cozy very snuggly they're perfect for all the autumnal and winter activities and I know that I just love wearing mine and this year I'm so excited because we're actually for the first time ever going away um, pretty much on top of Christmas. So I really wanted to just show you my favourite coats, basically what I'm going to be wearing to get me through all of these really cosy activities. I'll also be talking about where each one's from and just bear in mind that some of these purchases are a few years old. I wanted to show you this cup this is actually one of my recent purchases from Matalan and I have been meaning for like I want to say the past two autumns I've tried to get my hands on a pumpkin shaped mug because I just love autumn it's my favorite season every year we have this family buffet on Halloween night and we use all of the bits from next I'm sure you've seen it every year they bring out a collection of Halloween slash pumpkin inspired um, crockery and bits like that. We use all of their stuff. We have like little pots, dishes, plates, teapots, you name it, we've got it. Um, but they don't really tend to do the mugs. Not that I've seen anyway. I know they do mugs with pumpkins on, but I wanted an actual pumpkin shaped mug. The past like two years, I've seen people on TikTok, on Instagram with pumpkin shaped mugs from all these different shops. And I've always felt that I'm either too late, even though I try and look for it, they don't have it in stock near where I live, um, or they're just really expensive from like smaller businesses. So I've not been lucky enough to get one, but this year I heard through the grapevine that last year Matalan had some. At the beginning of September, I was in the shop. So I did buy three of these, um, and I also bought three, they had like orange speckle ones that are supposed to be a dupe for the anthropology ones which are absolutely stunning but three of these three of the orange ones to go with the crockery so we're now covered in that department but i also saw after i bought this they have very 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 similar ones in george asda for i think there was three pounds or three pounds fifty this was five pounds and i think these are slightly bigger um, so it's really nice if you want like a big coffee or you're a big tea drinker like me or if you're doing a hot chocolate and you want a decent cup of cream these are really lovely if you're thinking five pounds is a little bit more than you want to spend for one mug typically I would agree with you but just the fact that I've tried so hard to get these I was like do you know what it's cheaper than other cups that I've seen elsewhere I mean some stores I've seen them for like seven pounds anthropology are around 15 so when I saw these in Matalan, I absolutely had to get them. But yeah, George are definitely doing them for slightly cheaper. And I did see in my local store, still had loads on the shelf. And this is obviously just before the start of October. So if you're looking for pumpkin shaped mugs and they're either out of stock in Matalan or you can't find any like I had problems, definitely try um, Asda. I'm just so happy that I got these. So if these are still in stock, I will leave the link down below. If they're not, I'll try and find the ones that I saw in Asda and leave that link down below. Grab yourself something hot or whatever it is that you like to drink, get cozy and let's get on with the video. This one is actually from Topshop. I bought this around five or six years ago and I've never seen another one like it. It has the button poppers down the middle and inside is actually really really silky so it doesn't actually make you too hot and that is the worry because I'm somebody that when I'm cold I'm cold but I get hot easily These pockets are real like these are not faux pockets it's very 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 soft and I just love the fact that it's warm the next coat in my collection is this absolutely stunning autumnal faux fur coat of absolute dreams i'm sorry but is this color not just like perfect for this season like this is my autumnal fur coat it does have pockets too and these are actually deeper than the top shop coat it's so comfortable and it's just absolutely beautiful and this one was actually from new look oh my god the weight and the battery fur of this coat and the silk lining inside it is just 
so lovely. As soon as you put this on, it's gonna feel like you're wearing a blanket, but in the best possible way. It is so thick and arguably it might actually be a bit heavier than that pink one I showed you to begin with. This is just the perfect coat to keep cozy at this time of year. Honestly, if I held this up against the Topshop ones, apart from the weight, you literally cannot tell a difference between the quality. It's much lighter weight than the Topshop coats, so you're not gonna get overheated. It has these lovely little poppers that are super easy just to undo. I would describe this one as the most casual jacket, and I wear this pretty much anywhere. I purchased this from New Look years ago, like, around five to six years ago I bought this and I have worn this so much like number one because the fact it's a black item I just find that really really easy and simple to style actually got a bit of a texture to it which is just really 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 lovely um and different different to the other items I own which is what I like about all of these jackets they all offer something completely different. I'm either gonna be wearing this, or I'm gonna be wearing my fat face coat, which is just a really puffy khaki parka with a chunky hood. And I know it's not a faux fur coat, but I might as well show you. Okay, so the last coat I'm gonna be showing you in today's little collection is this khaki parka from Fat Face. And if I remember correctly, this is called the Judy Parka. This is a heavy, heavy coat, just as heavy is the two top shop coats like the quality is absolutely there and i just love this coat for all the details so let me show you so first of all the fur on this hood is really really chunky i love the colors it's just super easy basic to style um and to be honest it's like the perfect piece of countryside wear so i'm definitely going to be taking this the padded coat and inside you get the faux fur actually in the hood as well. Now you can see on camera how soft that actually is. Um, it's got such a nice um, texture and quality to it and it's super, super warm. Not only have you got a zip that goes all the way down the front, but you have these gorgeous buttons inside. You might be able to see, and I think you can. Let's see it's quilted. Then you'll notice that it also has pockets. It's actually got these little pull-in toggles. So when your coat is done up, you can pull these in first and it gives you more of a, like a fitted silhouette to your waist, which is very flattering. And then you can do your zip up, do your poppers, and it just kind of sucks you in a little bit rather than making you look like you're wearing a sleeping bag, which sometimes these big puffy coats tend to do just because they're so fitted, they're quilted, they tend to kind of make you lose your shape a little bit. Now, it's not really that important because at the end of the day, you're wearing a coat to keep warm, not really to show your figure. But when you're wearing chunky knitwear as well, you don't really want to look like a Michelin man. So that's just a nice little feature to kind of give you that feminine curve back in your chunky coat, which to be honest, I think we will appreciate. Then on the outside, you have these super deep pockets, which again have the Fat Face Popper logo on, but they're kind of different um, buttons. So this is really, really lovely. And then right at the bottom, you've actually got these toggles here as well. I've never really had a need to adjust those toggles at all, but if you wanted to, that is an option because they're there. So yeah, this is really, really lovely. I got this for £45, which is ridiculous considering the quality. Like if you could feel this, I would have happily paid more. But yeah, if you see anything like this, I would 100% grab it because they don't last long. Like I say, it was probably released like autumn time and it was gone by going into new year. So which is why they was all reduced. They were just getting rid of the sizes they had left and moving on. I would highly recommend having a coat like this and this is 100% one of the coats that I'm gonna be taking away with me. So if you could let me know maybe one other coat that you think I should take, um that would be really really helpful so that is everything in my collection i really hope that you guys have enjoyed today's video if you did please give the video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well so that you don't miss any other uploads and also um i would love it if you could follow me on instagram so check out my social channels i'll leave that in the link below as well if you want to follow me elsewhere um but yeah i really hope that you enjoyed it and i will see you in my next one